Hi, welcome back to my channel, Fix and Repair. Today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about my spare tire holder that I made for my Chevy pickup truck. There's my cat, Magellan. Being friendly. <laughs> yeah. So we all know that we have uh, the spare tire on these trucks is underneath the truck. And since I made a different bumper set up on this truck, I didn't want to mess with trying to make that stupid lock mechanism that's on there for the spare tire work. I got rid of all that. I just cut it out and I went with the old fashioned spare tire in the, in the back of the, the bed. And I'm going to show you how I made it. Some of these parts might look familiar to you. So we got to find a pulley off of a Briggs and Stratton or a Kohler engine, lawn tractor, 12 horse, 15 horse, something like that. And I took the rim of this tire, this utility tire here, what do they call it, a four ply tubeless. There's a model number. And I just took the this part of the rim right here. I needed this cone section. So you take these bolts out, pull it apart, and I just needed this section of the rim. I'll climb in the back of the truck. And I'll show you what I came up with here. So you can see looking down on this, I have a piece of two by four in there because it just wiggles a little bit, takes the bounce out of it. If I take that out of there so it don't distract you or push it down out of the way, you can see right here I have a bracket that attaches to this long piece of pipe right here. I ran out another bracket and then I came down in this piece of angle iron here and I had some pieces of threaded rod and that's what holds the rim to this metal and here's where the pulley comes in handy because I took what four bolts yeah four bolts and I drilled out this pulley section here and I put that part of that rim on the other side which is right there you can see I had to grind this down just a tad bit to get it to fit but that fits in that center hole of this eight lug Chevy three-quarter ton HD truck and then I found myself some big wing nuts, some washers, and some, you know, some nuts or whatever, just to space it out. I didn't have to thread it all the way on there, you know, waste a lot of time putting it on. And I just attached it. So that's what I came up with. Rim needs to be painted. The problem is when you put those rims underneath the truck, especially if you live in the climate where they use salt in the wintertime, it just rusts the rims out and then they start to pit and then they leak. This way I don't have to worry about it anymore. One thing you might consider though, if you put it in the back of the truck and you got an expensive tire on, you might want to put a lock on it. One of those cheap locks, those master locks you find at, at Walmart and run it through. You might want to do that. That's what it looks like. I'll climb out and I'll show it from the other side. And there it is. Again, once I get it in focus, thread it rod pulley off the Kohler or Briggs engine, the bolts, and it bolts to this piece of angle iron. If you know how to weld, you can just weld it all together. Basically the same thing, you can make yourself a nifty tire holder for your truck. You don't have to go buy one. Alright, thanks for watching. If you like the idea, give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, and the next video that will follow, we'll talk about how I put a new bumper on this truck and made a nice step to climb in and out of this truck as well as a handle. So stay tuned, it's coming up. See the A's? Aw, good dog. Ah, uh, woo!